Welcome back to Giant Monster Games. My name is Adrian, and today this is the first episode of our RimWorld series, Steen and Pina. If you want to know what all is happening in the series, go check out episode 0 or the prologue, because I want to jump straight into the action. If you were to ask me if I ever thought I would end up naked on a RimWorld with a girl I hardly know, I would say that is probably never gonna happen, but alas, here I am. On the rim world with a girl named Pina that I hardly know, with nothing but my butt cheeks flapping in the wind. I guess it's time to get to work. We gotta get stuff built. I think the first thing we need to do is build a log trellis so we can cut some logs into firewood and lumber so we can build the stuff. So far, hanging out with Pina has been really cool, actually. You know what? She's into stuff like recreation and food, and we were able to joke about all kinds of stuff. I'm feeling pretty confident that things are gonna get a little bit spicy, if you know what I mean. Well, hmm. You know what? No, 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 no. I just, she just doesn't realize, you know, I, I'm a cool guy. I'm just gonna share some cool conspiracies about aliens and, and, and stuff. And that's gonna be, yeah, or no. Yeah, just, come on, Steen, just pull it together. Pull it together. You're a cool dude. You're, you're a big, big, honking man. You're, yeah, you know what? Yeah, just, just, just play cool, man. Just play cool. You got this. You got this, okay. Hey, hey, Pina. What do you think about practicing with rockets? Rockets, Dean? Rockets? You know what? Maybe I came on a little bit too strong. It's okay, I'm sure Pina's gonna calm down. She's gonna go harvest some berries and get some food for us, because foraging's how we're gonna survive this first little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna build this uh, stove for us, because we need a, a seed processing spot so we can get seeds and plant crops. Otherwise, we are not gonna be able to grow anything, so that's super important. Okay, so some time has passed, things have blown over, things have gotten a lot better. Uh, it's 8 o'clock now, I think it's time that we uh, need to figure out where we're gonna sleep tonight. It's gonna, it looks like it's gonna be on the floor, but let's put a torch down, we'll keep it a little bit warm, maybe, um, but at least give us some light so we can have that going for us at least. Pina just said she has a really weird feeling about this, this structure that's just a little bit north of our base. I mean, Personally, I don't think it's gonna be anything. It's probably just the cold night. We're we're naked on a rim world, just the two of us. But uh, we'll see, I guess. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bacon or berries. Well, berries actually, cause that's the only thing we have to eat right now. But you know, you know what? It's all good. I'll have some berries for breakfast. And I realized I have not taken my morning today. I need to go build a toilet so I can do that. So that's, uh, I'm gonna go take the kids to the pool, if you know what I mean. Feeling great. You know what? I'm also kinda tired of eating without a table. So I'm gonna steal this one, put it closer to our beds, and then I'm gonna make a couple simple meals. Yeah, let's get some real breakfast. None of this raw berries. It's berries in a simple meal form. Who would not? It's barely any different. Oh look, hey Pina, hey Pina's here. She's, hey, she's bringing in some more berries. Yeah, bringing in the food for us. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, now she's, she's chopping some firewood. Yes, Neanderthals like us some, some strong, good, hardworking women. I like that. I like that. Now, now what are you, what are you doing now? You're, you're oh, oh my god, oh my god. I, I am so sorry. I, I, I know that you're naked. I literally see that all the time. But I did, I was not, not intentionally spying on you in the bathroom. I am. I am so sorry. I should not have done that. I am, I am so sorry right now. Okay, well, I, uh, I'm gonna finish building this well, I guess, as, uh, wells are really good for, uh, drinking and washing away the pervy thoughts that I apparently have. So let's, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Good, and, uh, then I think I'm just gonna cook a couple meals for, for us. Yeah, I, I think so. Thank you. Also for cutting a whole bunch more wood so we can start hopefully building walls uh, around the the toilet. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, let's uh, change of subject, I guess. Nice. Next morning here, a couple of animals have uh, 
apparently been fighting to the death over the night, so I'm just gonna quickly snag these bodies up before they go rot and uh, butcher them up because free food for us is always nice, especially when all we've been eating is berries. While I cook these up, Pina is gonna, gonna run off and grab that knife because she, quite frankly, is uh, better at hand-to-hand -hand combat than I am, so why not? Do you remember yesterday when Pina and I had a conversation about a, a weird feeling, like a bad feeling about a place not far from our, our base? I had the same feeling today, but about a completely different location. Like, are, am I going crazy? Is this real life, or is... Am I in a video game? Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. It's I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey, look, there's some Panvagia dinosaurs. Uh, they, they seem to have something in their mouth. It's like they're... Have they been eating, like, whipped cream or something? Oh, it's very strange. Hold on a second. That's not... That's... The animal madness! That could only mean that they're here to hunt us. We be we better take up arms. I'll use my my trusty log and and Pina with her brave new no stabby knife. We're gonna fight these Pangea Pan Panfagias until they're dead. It's it's just a non-stab stab and scratch, and surprisingly these things are putting up a lot more of a fight than we expected, like pounding and pounding on this thing and uh, oh okay, okay. Okay, finally it's down. It's down. Okay, looks like it's gonna bleed out in a few hours. Okay, we're we're fine. Okay, Pina, let's take this moment. Let's get ourselves bandaged up. No point in, in going back to work if we're gonna bleed out ourselves in a bit here. So let's take a moment. Oh, and and we have actual visitors, not not infested dinosaur visitors. So that's that's good to to know. I mean, let's let's uh, let's have a sit down and just finish getting ourselves better first, and then we'll uh, look to trade with these guys. What the f are you? Are you joking? Okay, well, well, let's rebeat the dinosaur to death. It's okay. Like note to self: next time, beat the dinosaur to death before you walk away from it. Okay. You know what they say: when it rains, it pours, right? And and now it's raining here, so that's uh, <laughs> that's that's a thing. Let me quickly build a roof here, so we don't have to sleep in the rain here. But uh, yeah. I should not have said that. I should not have said that. That's well. Pina, okay, we have one way out of this. We're gonna we're run away from the base. Let's get away from the base. I need you to use your fire breath. You're gonna spew fire all over this wolf. I think that's the only way we survive this, and uh, that actually worked surprisingly well. I that's that's great. Wow, I mean uh, the rain's gonna put out the fire, so we're not gonna have a forest fire that's gonna kill us, which is. Fantastic. This is, I am really impressed. Okay, well, let's just beat it to death now, I guess. Let's, uh, hopefully it won't retaliate too much, but uh, I, I think we got this. We got this. No more no more damage, right? No more wounds. And there you go. Let's, uh, let's not make the same mistake as a dinosaur, and we'll just beat it to death. You know what, Pina? You, you have a real choice time to joke about things. Like, I don't know how you can think about breakfast cereal after literally just murdering a wolf and a bunch of dinosaurs. I... I, I uh, commemorate your ability to compartmentalize an insane situation like this, so... Thanks, I think? Also, uh, trading at a time like this. So, uh, this guy unfortunately doesn't really have anything we need. Uh, it would be great if we had any food seeds that we could grow. None of these we can grow then eat at the same time. So we'll just trade for a single flax seed and I think call it a day with this guy. Then I think it's time for us to go to bed. Yeah, I think it's been a long, it's been a long couple days. Until next time. <laughs> Stop talking about Can we just kill the wolf? <laughs> Thanks for watching the first episode of Steen and Pina. If you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to the channel, watching the next video, or join the conversation over on Discord. Link below.